I've been enjoying restoring aircraft since 1995, and I did a Stearman, and then I did a de Havilland Beaver, and then I just started looking around for something suitably weird to restore, and the turbine goose kept coming up. There's uh, four of them left in the world. And interestingly enough, there was a project for sale right here at Oshkosh. It was owned by Jack Mark, who had passed away. And the family was selling this as kind of a project. It hadn't flown in 10 years and it hadn't been fully upgraded. So I came out here, worked with the mechanics and bought it. We ferried it to Seattle. The engines were still running when he got there, but that was about it. So um, that's where it started. Uh, I just thought the Turbine Goose would be a great uh, platform to do more Arctic exploration, and I really enjoy seaplanes, and so that's where it all started. Eleven years and over 30,000 man hours of restoration, but who's counting? You know, I thought it was going to take six years, it took ten years, but that's great thing about all things in life. You wouldn't start them if you knew how difficult they were going to be. And I really enjoyed the process. I'm an engineer and I always said if I never got to fly it, I wouldn't regret any of the time. Because it was unique and we got a chance to learn turbine engines and we got a chance to learn some more of the advanced sheet metal and uh, it's, it's a delight. It's an adventure airplane. I enjoy adventures. We've already started, so in May we uh, flew it to Dutch Harbor out in the um, Aleutian Islands and flew around there for a while. And then we left for Oshkosh on July 6th when we overshot and ended up in Iceland. And we spent a week in Iceland flying around there and we went to one of the local air shows there. <laughs> And, uh, and then we took it to the Faroe Islands, which is another 300 nautical miles halfway to Scotland. And then we flew it back and we landed here on uh, Friday and here to enjoy EAA for a few days and then we'll fly home. I feel like I'm a caretaker and a piece of history and it was born before me. I was born in 1953. That's eight years older than me, and hopefully it'll be around a lot longer after I pass. It's, I'm just a caretaker for it, and it's very exciting aircraft to be involved with.